To introduce, I uh, want to show you this microphone here, Samsung G-Track Pro, uh, which is a USB mic, very heavy, very sturdy. Um, and the interesting thing about this one is it has some extra features which none of, none of the others have. Uh, you have a, kind of a mini mixer here, so you have a second input. There's a, a jack, um, a big jack from uh, the instruments for guitars, for instance, or other. So the big jack input here and um, it's a mono input uh, and from here you have the the other jack is for the for the headphones for the monitoring and uh, you can mix those two so you have a knob here to have the f full volume on the microphone the other one is how you mix uh, the signal for the for this instrument input here and uh, the other one is the mic itself so this you don't have on the others the other features is quite common you have um, cardio um, orientation you have the figure eight figure eight figure eight figure eight figure eight so it's from front and back if you want to do interviews and you have one party sitting here and the other there this is good or you have omnidirectional so that should be more even da, 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 test two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen so like that but the cardio is the one direction like this ha so like this. Okay, I think the sound quality itself is really cool. Um, but I also need to uh, point out uh, some strange issues, and I don't know if this is really an issue of that guy or the related things. What I just used as a play along was an audio track played from my tablet with an app called Audipo, which is just a normal uh, audio play and uh, not a normal but it's an audio player so it's giving an audio signal out from the jack going into this jack so what i discovered when i use iReal pro for instance which uh, jazz musicians know uh, gives you backing tracks for all sorts of standards um, there it should be a mono signal coming out hear the bass and the click which is going at the same time which for me is really hard to explain because it's from my technical understanding just a mono signal out there if anybody knows an, an, an explanation for that please post that in the, in the comments um, another thing that I found um, I mean I bought that as a backup for my mini mixer that I'm using on the computer um, uh, and uh, the separation works with the app that I'm using at the moment. On the phone, I'm using the open um, open camera app, which has no problem to take in the signal for per USB uh, as it's supposed to be, either mono or on the two track. But that does not necessarily work on other apps, and it does not necessarily work on uh, YouTube streams, which I tried, and other messengers. Um, whatever you use uh, you need to figure out if that uh, separation and that mix works as well um, yeah but the mono signal should always be fine so that this guy unfortunately I have to sell this one because we are on the move and uh, it's quite heavy I need to get rid of all things that I do not necessarily need so if you're living nearby here in Oral Pondicherry, so just get in contact and um, otherwise I think that's an interesting option compared to the others because of this extra. Ah yeah, one thing we can have a look at, how does it sound when you plug in a guitar directly. So what I'm using here, this is a, uh, an acoustic, um, uh, this is a nylon string electric guitar with a piezo. They have a great hum, so if you do not uh, ground your, your chassis, so what I do, I have this wire attached to that, and I just put that wire on my body and the belt, so that will just remove the hum. So, switching to jack. So, that was the signal from the tablet earlier. From the guitar. And there's, now there's nothing in between. It's just the, the pure signal from this guitar. And 
And let's do a two track again. So then you have really the separation. My guitar should be on the one side, my voice should be on the other side. So now finally let's use this guy in a kind of a real life situation I'm trying to make the quickest and simplest video ever possible. I just record with a looper here, a mini looper, the Lacto Lecato uh, uh, looper, that's the smallest available, but the sound quality is good. So when I, I can just put whatever signal in here. quite the same. So we just loop one uh, accompaniment for summertime and then I play it on the flute and this is no further processing. I might level that up with this two separation, two track separation afterwards, but I just let you witness the whole procedure of recording. So I will just start with the accompaniment. So this was my comping track, and now just I might plug off the guitar. I hope it works. So now I will start it, and just have the guitar come there. So that's how it sounds. I think it's a very practical thing, especially with this function to um, to adjust. And if you have the two track, then afterwards you can uh, still balance uh, the signals. I might do that for processing this video. So hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.